Ahead of the midterm elections, the ACLU of Kentucky has launched a massive voter registration campaign. It's designed to help convicted felons who are now eligible to vote. WLKY's Madeline Carter explains what they're doing to help thousands restore their voting rights. People who've done their time behind bars may not realize their voting rights might be restored thanks to a 2019 executive order signed by Governor Andy Bashir. That's why the ACLU is recruiting smart justice advocates to get thousands of Kentuckians back out to the polls. Right over there on that side. People have died for us to try to get the rights to vote. People have stood in lines for hours and days and, and months to try to get us to have our rights to vote. And so it's our time to use our voice. The ACLU of Kentucky says a lack of information is one of the biggest hurdles to restoring the voting rights for nonviolent offenders. We want to offer facts so that people can process that in the way that they do and then they can go to the poll and they can determine who suits them best. The organization hosted a Reclaim Your Right to Vote luncheon on Wednesday. There's a whole lot of trauma, a whole lot of pain that people have to overcome. Outlining plans to recruit people to go out and inform the more than 175,000 Kentuckians with convictions how to restore their voting rights and register ahead of the midterm election. The fact that I cannot vote, I still feel alienated no matter what I do in this community, no matter what great works come, I'm still other. Smart Justice Coordinator Marcus Jackson is still fighting to get his right to vote back after a 1992 conviction. It's formally incarcerated. Once you do your time, you should have your rights. He's petitioned the governor to review his case while advocating for the restored civil rights of others. I've yet to ever get a I voted sticker. I want my sticker. The ACLU's goal is to get 15,000 Kentuckians with past felony convictions to register to vote by October 11th. In downtown Louisville, Madeline Carter, WOKY News.